Hi everybody, it's been a while since I've gone, had a live Facebook video. It's been that long, but you know, I thought I'd do something in the garden. It's so beautiful outside today, so my heart goes out to all of you guys experiencing horrible weather. It's uh, almost surreal to, to be watching it on the news and to be able to go outside of my house and see, see how pretty it is. It's just weird and... Um, Sorry, I feel really bad for you guys. Um, so anyway, I'd like to document my garden and what's been going on. And I can look back on these videos years later and see what's happening. I have this little area beside my house, by my back door. That's just, you can see, it's a little bricked in area. And I like to put just whatever in here. And we put random, I don't want anything, you know, like a permanent feature I'd like to have things moved around so we plant seeds and it's amazing to see these things come up from a seed <laughs> you know look at the size of this plant and realize it came from a seed a little tiny seed and now look at how huge it is really really neat I, I think science is cool and I, I wish I had um, paid more attention when I was a kid and somebody had explained this to me so here's what's going on in the garden. In my driveway, I have built this wooden thing and I put these buckets in it and I keep trying to find something to put on the side here. I've never found anything I really like. I don't want to paint it. I like to have the things in the garden not have color just to be natural so that the plants are the ones that really stand out. Here's another really pretty plant that's growing up. I think it's called Cosmo and it's, it's doing really well. Tomatoes still, of course, well, duh. Some more pretty flowers over here. Some bougainvillea. I have a couple different kinds of bougainvillea colors. This is a pink. And here's one of the reds. My favorite is the stark burgundy. That is my absolute favorite uh, bougainvillea. And we had a wild tomato that grew in. We get a lot of volunteer tomatoes because I compost. So you can see we get a lot of cherry tomatoes. Here's, here's our cherry tomato. I'll pop off. Pop it in my mouth. Mm -mm -mm. good 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 this plant is a succulent of some kind it's just gorgeous the reds i transplanted this one and hoping it's gonna make it but it's kind of dried up but it's actually really pretty with this burgundy so going into the backyard here we are anybody's followed my videos has seen this backyard over the seasons for years let's just see what's going on back here Listen to those birds. Can you hear them? Here's the dahlias. Doing really fun things. Mark's, one of Mark's favorite flowers, I think. He loves to pull those off and bring them in the house. And the fruit trees, of course. I need to spend a little more time with them. I have um, planted a few some fun plants to grow underneath the tree you know, for shady kind of stuff. It's nice. Sometimes we'll put a chair or two out here underneath. Ah, uh -huh. figures. As soon as they come out here, I see all the stuff that I need to be be weeding, and I want to get in here and start weeding. I have four tomatoes in this, and they produced a little bit, but not much. There's a little bit going in there. Oh, well, look, we're being visited. Imogen. She usually doesn't come on camera. Hi, Imogen. She wants to know what we're doing out here. She's getting a little arthritic, I think. Hi, Emmo. This is Emogen. Emogen. Okay, so over in this area, we have a dahlia and tomatoes. And in here, I've got all kinds of onions. And um, I think I have some, whatever this is, cucumber or zucchini zucchini probably we've got too much zucchini the blackberries i love blackberries but they just grow everywhere and you just can't get rid of all the volunteers i really like to find a nice place to grow blackberries um more, more blackberries that i'd like to get this is a tomato i think this grew out of the compost i put in here so i think it's a volunteer i think so more tomatoes this just grew out of the compost. I think it's a cucumber. 
so what I did in this bed this year is I dug out completely a section and I put all the food scraps. You can see all the food scraps just out of the kitchen, just dumped them in there. Just dump, 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 dump. This is this new thing I've been doing this year called um, compost in place. And of course, it's not all that attractive looking and you guys are going, oh, gross. But it's a neat way of really looking at how this right here will turn into this beautiful gold, black gold. And so I've already dug this all out because it, it, I used it in plants for other things. And I'm letting this sit here for a while. And I just keep dumping another thing on top of it each time. So it's, it, I thought what I would do is bury this, you know, put it in here and bury it. And then move over to this area. But what's happening is this stuff will sink and sink and sink and sink. And that's because underneath it's all composting. So then <laughs> you find underneath it this really awesome soil. I can't do it fast enough. We're not eating food here fast enough to put in the compost. Uh, another dahlia. Look at this dahlia. Check this out. This variety of dahlia. It's like black almost. And it, it just, it's so, so bizarre. Oh, I, I kind of wish I'd gone in bot botany science. Oh, look. And there's Ariadne. She's prowling the garden. Look at this. They're like, wow, look, mom's outside and she's on Facebook. So why isn't she petting me? Okay, of course you see. Let me get out. So there's a shadow. We have um, California poppies everywhere because we just, these aren't planted. These are just growing here and they will grow everywhere. They'll take up every space possible. They're just volunteers. We're having an influx of marigolds and I've been saving the seed and planting them all over. I like the marigolds. These are radishes and another tomato. I've got too many cherry tomatoes this year, but that's what grows it in. And this is some kind of zucchini. We just can't eat it. I don't like it. And back here I grew carrots. I think I'm going to do this when the year season's over. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff in front of the carrots because it's too hard to plant carrots back there. And Imogen wants to be pet. So these are some old tomatoes. Uh, this right here is a tomato that was needed to go. But that was from left over from 2021. And I have some zucchinis growing in there. It's just kind of all the tomatoes that I had growing didn't do so great. It's because the soil in here, I completely dug out this whole um, thing. We, we took it down to nothing and I put new soil in it and it's not good compost. It's just not, doesn't have the nutrients in it well enough, I think, to grow as well as it should. Whereas this middle one is going to be doing great. So in this area back here, I put up this ladder. Some people might have seen it. It's a little ladder, and I put a bunch of stuff on top of it. Down here at the bottom, those are potatoes. So I should be able to get a nice crop out of them by just dumping them out and taking all the tomatoes out. Potatoes, I'm sorry, and then putting the little ones back in, and they keep growing. I could harvest them probably at any time. I have some old drawers. I put radishes in here. And then I've grown some cukes. This is a cuke. And these are peppers. These are peppers back in here. And some beets. This is broccoli. It doesn't look like it's doing so good. Back in here I put, um, this is onions. And the reason why you see so many guards on stuff is because I have cats and you have to do that. And this area back here is kind of weird looking is I have tried doing more container gardening. This area where I'm at right now used to be just for um, compost. I had compost piles back in here and wheelbarrow and stuff like that. And it's kind of protected from the rest of the garden. Look at this falling from this Eugenia. Look at all this stuff falling from it. It's like snow. Can you see that falling across the screen? So I built this little ledge back here and I filled it in. And I've just been doing container gardening back here. And I have a tomato that's doing okay. This doesn't get as much sun as, as some of the other parts of the garden do. So, um, you know, I don't know. These are just storage bins that I had. And these are all carrots back in here. It does get sun. It just doesn't get a ton of sun back here. Tomatoes. 
But since everything's in containers, except for these obviously heavy things, I should be able to move them around if I want. And um, I bought a bunch of seeds at the, at the dollar store, believe it or not. And I've been trying to see what they do. And I got a bunch of gladiolas from it. It was really, really nice. And I had a whole bunch of peppers. And I planted a ton of peppers. I just dumped them in one of the buckets over here. And they all pretty much sprouted. So I had to go and divide them all up. So I have. I've divided them up. I put them in... I put them in individual containers and look at how they're doing so pretty well. The soil that you see right here is the soil that was in that middle container that had a big empty hole. And so all of this right here, this is all, you know, corn and potatoes and potato peels and onion rinds and everything. So this black stuff here that is soil was absolutely, you can see an eggshell in there. See eggshell. So this was all in that compost. It's really neat. I wish I had some kids I could explain this to and show them how it how you turn like an apple into black dirt over time. It's neat. So all of these little guys here are just peppers that I planted from there. This one obviously isn't doing so well. And I took a whole bunch of beets seeds and I put them in. And so I've put one beet in each of these little containers. You can see here. So I'll have a beet on each. And they this has been about a week, so they're doing okay. All these are peppers. Not that I eat them, but Mark will, or I'll give them to somebody. <laughs> Come on over. Come get some peppers. So what else we got? We have a kitty. She says, she's blocking my way. Bridge keeper. <laughs> she's going to ask me three questions. They get so excited to have me outside. Another drawer. So here's another area. I took a whole bunch of Tupperware that was just laying around. I wasn't using it for storage because we've been trying to throw stuff out. And uh, I've been using a plant in. And this is a bunch of chard. You can see it's all cut down because Mark, Mark went through it and had a lot of chard. And yeah, there's more coming in. Some zinnias. I got the zinnia plants from the seeds from the dollar store look a little leggy here at the moment but they were looking really pretty for a while so I don't know if this is going to be successful or not this little area back here but I tried it these are um Brussels sprouts again another food I won't eat or beets but I'm growing them and these are strawberries and I just can't get these strawberries to grow to keep up with me eating them for breakfast because I always have breakfast with strawberries and blackberries and I thought I'll grow my own and I'll save a ton of money and I can't get them to grow fast enough or enough. And besides, I come out here to the garden and I will um, see a strawberry and I'll grab it and I'll eat it. So it's not making it into the house for breakfast. Some broccoli. Mark's, Mark's picked some of them off already. He's had some broccoli. These things you also get from the dollar store. Pinballs and stuff are supposed to be meant to chase off uh, birds or cats or whatever keep them out of your garden at least that's my thought so I know the garden isn't looking all that great right now but it's it's um, kind of in the middle of um, transition from um, you know being a harvest time to not being a harvest time oh my Concord grape look at this so I had I planted this in 2002 and it's given me Concord grapes every year. And then it was getting really woody. People who watched videos in the past will see that I came in and took everything out. Because what was happening is it would grow over on top of itself, on top of itself, on top of itself. And so all this area up in here was just woody and dry leaves and so on. And so that when the grapes would produce, they wouldn't come through. They would just uh, stay up there. So I didn't get a lot of produce of grapes but you knew they were there they were just in a place where you couldn't get to them so what I did is I cut everything back to bare bones just to the sticks that are right there this and it's growing back as people tell me these things will grow back and you will you can't really kill these grape things so this is this one conquered grape that I planted in 2002 and I would have already had grapes if I was going to have grapes. They're usually September crop. 
So I don't think I'm gonna have grapes this year, which is fine because it's giving it a chance to grow back and I'm gonna try to keep an eye on it so it doesn't get, have that happen to it again. So I guess once you cut it back, as far as I did, it takes at least a year to come back. Yes. What, Em? What? Yeah, she's, yeah, I know. She liked the grapes because when we had a lot of grapes, people would come over and we'd have like a party or two for people to come over in and pick all the grapes and stuff like that. And then she could come out here and everybody come over and they would watch her and fawn over her and say, what a cute kitty. And they'd come and pet her. So she's kind of disappointed that more people aren't coming over to spend time in the backyard and, and eat the grapes because, you know, oh, isn't she just adorable? <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, so Imogen would like to have the grapes back so that we'd have more visitors. What a life. My gosh, look at them. Just lay in the sun somewhere. Aw. And, um, and eat all the grapes. So back over here. I cleaned this out the other day. I've planted a whole bunch of spring bulbs in some of these bottom ones here. And they're just kind of dormant because obviously we're not going to have spring bulbs for a while. Even though with climate change, we may have them by January. Um, so I just cleaned out all these pots and freshened them up, took, took the dry stuff out of them. So they look pretty darn good. They look a lot healthier than they did not too long ago, a few weeks ago when I was cleaning them. And in between inside all these pots there's all kinds of little tulips and hyacinths and stuff like that that'll grow in i think i see some looks like right here there's some um those are probably gladiolas i planted from the dollar store and she's all over me she wants me to pet her she doesn't like to be pecked, picked up she just wants to be pet and if you stop petting her she will bite your hand until you start petting her again because um that's how she is each cat has her own personality, and she doesn't understand why I'm not petting her. It's a good girl. Are you the mommy's good girl? Yes, I'm such a good girl. Yeah, hi, Emmo. Emmo Jen. She says, I need a good combing, because look at all this fur. Yeah, see how if you stop petting her, she, she'll bite you to pet. She, she wants to be pet. She'll say, pet me, pet me, pet me. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, so that's my documented garden. I haven't shown you much of this in a while because well for a while I was unable to make Facebook live videos because I had been banned for some some horrible stuff I had done which was just posting some pseudoscience saying can you believe the pseudoscience and that was enough anyway have a great day try to spend some time in your garden if you have one um, I'm very 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 sorry for all those people who are having such horrible weather right now um, you know it's just awful so um, appreciate it when you can and enjoy nature where you, where, you, where you find it. And I know that Imogen would say the same thing. Right, Em? Bye, everybody.